Hello guys, this is our second video about the most frequent questions from our customers. My name is David. My name is Anthony. And this is Virmer. Ready? More than ready. Okay guys, the first question is, what kind of materials can we mark on a laser marking machine? Okay, let's start saying that uh, we have uh, three types of markers. The fiber markers, CO2 markers, and ultraviolet. So fiber markers work uh, mostly on metals, so um, iron, stainless steel, titanium, uh, tungsten, and also on some hard plastics. The CO2 markers can work on organic materials like uh, wood, uh, paper, uh, leather, uh, but also acrylic, uh, rubber, um, fabrics, uh, and then the ultraviolet, uh, they are the most complete because they can work on every material, uh, including uh, copper, glass, transparent acrylic, uh, silver. What is the maximum image size that it can be marked on an FLTT? The size of the image depends on the lens as you install. Uh, the maximum lens size we can provide is 300 by 300 millimeters with a focal length of uh, 420 millimeters. This is the area in which you can place your images. The main thing is that the workpiece fits in it and the marker has the appropriate power. The trick is that if you put uh, this 300 millimeters lens on a 20 watt marker you will get a lot of distortion at the edges there will be no clear image for such a large lens you need 50 watts of power if you have 20 watts the optimum maximum is 110 by 110 millimeters what kind of lenses can we provide firstly each kind of marker it has their own lenses if you're talking about fiber, we have 70 by 70 millimeters, 140 by 140 millimeters, and 300 by 300. There are many options and everything is chosen accordingly to the situation. Call us, tell us what you want to do, and we will advise you. Now, the next question is, when to use Q-Switch and when to use MOPA? Nice question. Q-switch is used uh, when the main task is to engrave or mark without color. Or, for example, when working with steel or black finishes. MOPA is a must when you need a rich color marking and is required on metals such as titanium, stainless steel, brass, uh, aluminum. Next question. Rikus or JPT? Well, both emitters are really good. So it's a matter of preference. However, MOPA GPT will be more affordable than MOPA Rikus. Okay, next question. What configuration of the marker should be chosen for working with precious metals, such as silver or gold? Well, this is not about configuration, uh, but of course it's better to use or MOPA or ultraviolet. And also very important, um, for rings, uh, usually we use uh, uh, rotary devices, so quick clamping rotary tools for the marker. Is it possible to cut with the marker? It's difficult to find the right point where it can cut, but it will burn the material. And this, it makes no sense because it's inefficient. Yes. The next question is how to achieve the maximum speed for marking that you can set an higher speed <laughs> why you were laughing <laughs> okay well this is very simple higher power means that you can set an higher speed uh, let's make an example um, let's take a 30 watt marker you you will engrave more or less at 1000 millimeter per second but if you have a 50 watt marker it will be 1600 millimeter per second and the result is almost identical well we had uh, recently one of our customer that wanted to change his 20 watt marker with a 50 watt because uh, in order to integrate it in a conveyor uh, belt by the way 
is uh, if this is what you need, our engineers can do the integration and train you how to use it. How to correctly mark barcodes and QR codes? Well, in the panel where you can choose found, there is a section with codes. There is a special field where you can enter your text, links, or other information that you want to convert into a code. Mm -hmm. Click confirm and the program will convert or generate a code for you. Convenient and easy. Another interesting question, David. How to make deep engraving? Okay, basically here uh, there are three uh, ways to do this. First, choose a high power. So, for example, 50 watts. Second, we can make several passes at a lower power. We need to find the value that uh, overcomes the evaporation threshold of the material. Third, we can use smaller lenses, for example, 75 by 75, with a smaller focus so that the spot will be quite small. This is why the laser will have a higher piercing power. Actually, we will be making a video about deep engraving very soon, so stay tuned to the channel for updates. Subscribe to make sure you don't miss out if you're interested in this topic. Leak. Leak? Okay. I say leak? No, no, no. Oh no. My God. <laughs> Is it possible to engrave wood with a fiber marker? Well, David, wood is very interesting. The laser uses heat, so at first it looks like nothing is happening, and then suddenly there are micro explosions and then start burning. You can avoid this by coating the wood and then working with it. For example, it is possible to evaporate layers of paints and then you get the results under the surface. So David, can you mark dynamic data, date and time, or Excel files? Yes, you can. Everything is possible. Let's talk about Excel spreadsheets, for example. You need to use a special pedal that comes with the marker. You will load the file into the program and start working. And when the time comes to move from row to row, all you have to do is just press the pedal. That's it, very easy. So David, is any kind of protection needed during the work with the marker? Yes, yes, definitely yes. Consider that uh, uh, laser radiations are quite dangerous to eyes, skin and part of the body. So protection is basic and very important. When you are working with reflective materials, uh, you can get, for example, a shot in the eye and you don't even feel it. Uh, the beam, uh, it happens that the beam can go through the lens of the eye and in the worst case, it can cause a detachment of the retina. That's why the markers, they come with safety goggles that, I have to say, they look also very cool. What we can suggest you is to use a fume extractor because sometimes marking materials are covered with paint and the smell can be very unpleasant and also harmful. Do you have any guarantees and certificates? Well, David, we offer two years warranty on our markers on the emitter. You can see the certificates in our website, in the product card, or you can ask to our managers. And also, in addition to that, we have an official letter from Watson that we are the only distributor in Europe. Yes. Can you equip the marker with a box? Well, David, if you really want to protect yourself as much as possible from the radiation, you can make a box, you know, like made of four light, uh, filter shield or you can ask for us for a model that we have that is a box you have to keep in mind that this box is limited by the working area that you can make got limitation like everything so David can I work on this machine at home or in my office of course you can absolutely you can place the marker in a table and just work the main thing is you need to have a, a 220 socket and even more important you don't have to forget the fume extractor there are uh, some materials that smell 
very bad, very unpleasantly uh, when you heat them, for example, the leather. So you better have this. Is it possible to remove a tattoo with a fiber marker? Well, David, you can vaporize the skin layer by layer and actually get the pigment to be removed or you can penetrate the layer of the skin just by affecting the color. Theoretically, you can do that, but usually it's done by a CO2 laser. And this is also important. Artificial leather should not be treated because it contains chlorine. Its fumes is very harmful. Yes, very dangerous. Yeah. I should have to answer. <laughs> okay, David. A pedal is included. What is it for? The pedal replaces the start button. You can start the marker from your computer or you can start it like a speed eraser. It can be a handy device for some people. It is also used when marking tables to jump from line to line. Okay, David, if the machine breaks down, how long do I have to wait for it to be fixed? Our golden rule is to respond at least two days after receiving a request. However, we usually manage to respond in less than eight hours. In any case, no one will refuse to help you and we treat each case individually. Okay, David, if I need one spare part, how long will the delivery take? It depends on what you need to replace. If it's just a lens, it can be shipped within a week and it's up to the shipping company, you know, to get it to your country. If uh, we're talking about the emitter, it can be a little bit more difficult and it might take uh, two or three weeks. Very common question. Can you give us the settings for different materials? The settings of the machine uh, are usually discussed during the demonstration. Uh, you can see the result and you can choose which is uh, the uh, ideal setting for you. The reason for this uh, is uh, that there is no such thing as a perfect setting. It depends on your taste and um, it depends on the material that can vary from supplier to supplier. So David, why is UVTT so expensive and what is the difference between the FLTT? Okay, UV lasers are a completely different type of laser. UV is a diode pump solid state laser and FLTT is a fiber laser. UV has a wavelength three times shorter than FLTT. As a result, they have different penetrating power, uh, fineness and precision of processing and the list of materials they can work with. Hence the price difference. Can I make an image inside acrylic with FLTT? Nope. The fiber laser will melt the acrylic. It's better to use a CO2 laser machine or a CO2 marker. And the image will be on the surface of the acrylic. Yes. So David, why is it the maximum power of the FLTT 50 watts and why I cannot install a more powerful emitter? Actually, it is possible you can, but we have not announced it yet. Just wait for it. Let's say that 50 watts is probably the most popular choice among customers. But for example, the Mopa JPT already comes with 60 watts. So 50 is not the maximum. The technology is developing quite rapidly. So there are 100 watt emitters available and we have supplied these to large production facilities for deep engraving at high speed. But such high power are uh, rarely needed, uh, so they're not a very popular choice in the market. If you have any question, write in the comments and we will answer in the next videos. Thank you for being tuned. We answered all the questions that we received. Give us a like, subscribe to the channel and see you in the next video. My name is David. My name is Anthony. And this is Virmer.